to that, Dan. A nationwide shortage of medical examiners is leaving Georgia families without answers. A backlog in labs means their loved one's cause of death is still not known. But Atlanta News First's Abby Kasoris found out the GBI thinks they might have a fix. Rachel Geller, associate medical examiner for the Georgia Bureau of Investigations, is trying to uncover answers. Because everybody is going to die. And to the dead, we owe the truth. It's hard to do when you don't have enough help. The GBI forensic team is slotted for 18 positions, but there are eight vacancies. The shortage is blamed for a backlog of cases in the state's crime labs in DeKalb County, Macon, and outside of Savannah. There are roughly 750 board certified forensic pathologists in the country, but the National Association of Medical Examiners feels a need for that number to double. Roughly 40 medical students in the U.S. get board certified each year. See, like, fills, exactly. me the, the GBI is trying to attract students while they're in school, like Maybe Emory Medical student Blake Berman. The schooling is long. You go through a lot, many years of schooling and you accrue a lot of debt to achieve your goals of becoming a doctor. This year, the Georgia General Assembly created the scholarship repayment program for medical examiners. If you come to work for the GBI, they will repay up to $120,000 worth of student loans in a five year period. I'm originally from Georgia, so I think it really just gives a better incentive to stay in the States. Berman is hoping to fill one of the open positions in 2025, along with his classmates Praise and Bria. In addition to the dead payoff incentive, a starting salary is $250,000. Georgia will lead the way in solving the critical shortage of forensic pathologists in the United States. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Kasoris.